she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop keep pass a sock pass what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the meds call it news with a buzz i have told you before that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results that can be applied as it pertains to security company Beryllium Guardsman, them call them. We've seen that they've suffered at least three to four hits on their company. Three of them being successful, meaning them get money of some type. However, it seems as if the same strategies that they were using from back in the 80s, it is the same strategy that they've been using in the present. That is insanity. Now people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to an interview that was done with the director of Beryllium. His name is Commander, I think, Overton. I am going to let you hear what he has to say and what he knows of exactly what transpired which is not much at the time in which he recorded this. Take a listen, take a look. It did happen. There was an attack at one of our vehicles this morning. Um, there has been no cash loss. We have one crew member who was injured. Um, a bullet hit him in the back, but bulletproof vest he was wearing um, caused no penetration, so it was blunt force trauma. The police in St. Thomas are pursuing the individuals and I understand that they are coming under gunfire. Where exactly did this incident happen? We don't, I don't have the exact detail but it's, it's out in St. Thomas. And about what time? Uh, I don't have that detail yet. I'm just getting bits and pieces coming yes. in from the scene. What was the reason for your team That's to be in normal, that area? Normal, so normal service route. It's been more and they do business and transact cash care transactions as well, you know, so we have to service them. What is the latest thinking in Beryllium though, that despite the improvements in security well, uh, and so on, that these well, attacks continue? The, the improvements, the improvements um, are causing no successes on the criminal side. But when you say no success, what do you mean? Well, they have not been able to steal any cash or anything. Um, yes, it concerns us as they continue. Um, and we will continue to enhance the security arrangements around our operations. How many members of your team were traveling on the unit? I don't have that uh, guessing if I told you, but I know for sure it would not be less than three. Now people, like I said, this is the definition of insanity. This is a man that is supposed to be a security expert. He is one of those persons that you've heard on radio, on TV, social media, whenever they need any sorts of security advice. He is one of the persons or experts that they call. However, this man, a man that is running a company that is dealing with security and technology, he does not know why, where, when or how. The only thing that he knows is that it is in somewhere in a St. Thomas. Now people, if I am running a security company such as Beryllium, I am going to make sure that I have a dispatch unit that is going to be giving me updates as thing goes on. Not 8 hours later, 10 hours later, meaning immediate as it happens. We see that that is not the case in this case. Every question that this man was asked, he seems to not know the answer. So therefore, his response would have been a failure in most persons' opinion. Here is the thing. He claims that they have implemented some new strategy in the company. And that is what led to the failure of these G-U-N-M-E-N are robbers. Why they did not get any sorts of cash this time. People, truth be told, there were at least three vehicles. Two vehicles most persons saw 
an AD wagon a white and then a Subaru look kinda grey or silver ish. However, there was a next vehicle because based on the Popo report, they recovered at least three vehicles. Two of those vehicles, meaning the Subaru, they saw all sorts of splinter. That means a G U N S H O T whole night and all sorts of blood in one of those vehicles. So therefore we can come to the opinion that at least somebody get hit or maybe these persons were blazing up from inside the vehicle. Me no know it is yet to be determined. Now in the interview or part of the interview that this man Mr. Overton did, he said that one guard was hit, however he was hit in the bulletproof vest. Now people, yesterday I put out maybe about nine videos from different angles of that same incident. In one of those videos, there was a guard on the ground on his stomach. There was a lady over him like she was seeing what type of damages was done to his body, to his vest. I could see B-L-O-O-D unless of course as somebody threw a ketchup or something. When this man, Mr. Overton, was asked, was there any sorts of injuries, he said somebody got hit in a, the bulletproof vest. It was blunt force trauma. However, people, up to today, meaning this morning at 7 o'clock, this man was still admitted in a, the hospital. So therefore, the wounds must have been more severe than this man said. In these videos, people, that I got, there's two in particular, well, three. One video when the vehicle, the beryllium vehicle, looked like at least two of them. One of them looked like some sort of Jeep. One of them looked like some F-150 or whatever them call it. So two different vehicles. However, me don't know if them get any money or lost any money. All I know, which is very embarrassing, is that in two of these videos, at least, you could see the security guards running from their vehicle, running from the scene of the crime. I thought that I was watching some sort of cartoon network, some sort of Scooby and Shaggy. As a matter of fact, in one of those videos, you could clearly see the guard that was running ditch his firepiece and a run. He wanted nothing to do with it. Now, people, as it pertains to these security guards, can we really blame them? This is what happens whenever you have a job and that job does not give you the proper tool to carry out the function of the company. So in other words, these guards are given basket for carry water. These guards, every day that they get up, their life is on the line. Their lives are in jeopardy because it seems as if they are like some sitting ducks. Now, people, I don't understand how it is that after one incident in a Portmore, a next incident in a Portmore, a next incident somewhere else, at least four different incidents, these people are making the same mistakes. They are transporting their clients millions of dollars in some vehicle that maybe it have some sorts of resistance to win hurricane. However, it is obvious based on the penetration in all of the vehicles, based on the amount of rounds that entered the body, the glass, the windshield, every part of that vehicle, it shows you that these are just ordinary vehicles. These are not what we call the Brinks armored truck. How is it that you're going to be transporting money, have four or five hits, some of them fail attempts and you're doing the same thing over and over. People, in my opinion, this man, Mr. Overton, who is the director and whomever else is a part of the decision-making process of this company. 
because it is quite obvious that whatever decisions or changes that they have implemented, these decisions are based on profit margin, the bottom line, how much money you can save, how much money you can make, and how you can minimize your expenses. However, whenever you minimize that expense, that expense is to, is to the detriment of the health or the well-being or safety of your employees. Because whenever you give some people, some sorts of 12 gauge, some sorts of all tool, some sorts of 357 Magnum, like we're living back in a time in a the Clint Eastwood days, it seems as if this person, meaning the director, or the decision makers, they are burned out. They are behind time. They are not up to the time in what they need to do. And it is quite obvious because it seems as if these gunmen, it is like we are dealing with some sorts of schoolyard bully. And they see the beryllium truck and the guards and the client's money as if it is easy taking. So therefore, Every day them get up, them just wap, wap, wap. Them just pray. They just know that it is going to be easy as one, two, three. And people, the fact that they have made at least four to five attempts. In those four to five attempts, at least three, we would consider as success. Meaning 30 odd million dollar in a three attempts or so. So people, at the end of the day. It is called, he who fails to prepare, prepares to fail. Who fails to make adjustment based on their circumstances will always be caught slipping. Like me say, it is obvious what is going on. This man is not using new wave strategy. This man is as old school as old school can get as it pertains to security and it is obvious just based on the interview that he did it is obvious that he did not get any sorts of dispatch which was up to the time up to the moment unless of course he is in denial it is quite obvious that with all the advancement in technology or data that they said that they have implemented in the company they have forgotten the bread and butter, meaning the safety of their clients' fun, the safety and security of their employees. The two goes hand in hand. So therefore, you cannot see, you cannot get three or four or five examples that these persons are under siege. Them want the people them money bad and then you send out the employees them to do the same thing over and over. It is obvious that you do not want to spend any sorts of money on people. I don't know the finances of this company. However, just speaking in general, a lot of these companies, they are only interesting. In the amount of money that they are making, they are not very interesting. In the health and well-being of the employees so therefore even if one of those or two of those employees lose their life and people i am not saying that they are out there hoping for their employees to die but me just I say if you really care you put your money where your mouth is and invest in armored vehicle invest in more backup more employees that go and scout out the scene. That is what you said that you would have been doing. However, the people them catch you with your pants down. The people them catch you slipping once again. They shocked and awe you. And you should not have been shocked and awe. Especially as it seems as if this is a regular occurrence. Meaning every month these people are going to try Next month, they're going to try again. Next year, they're going to try again. Because they are not going to change. The mindset of these people are not going to change. And this is why I say that their mindset is not going to change. 
These are not the regular average run-of-the-mill robbers. These are organized crime figures that are doing these things. So in other words, these people are not thief, them are taker. What a taker is and who I think some of these takers are, they are people that more than likely was overseas robbing people, D-R-U-G-S, robbing people's cash. Them getting us some sorts of trouble. However, they are now in Jamaica. They are not in any sorts of intention. They have zero intention of getting any sorts of job. So therefore, they are going to want to look for that quick cash. And they see beryllium or these other security guard companies and these ATM machine as some sorts of feeding tree. These people who more than likely are some sorts of deportee and people, it is not just one set of them, meaning one other and the people from Spanish Town. We understand whenever anything happens in the criminal world and people have success, you are always going to have other persons that have all sorts of high-powered rifles that are willing to take the risk because when they assess the risk and the reward and it is not as if they don't already have the tools meaning the high-powered rifle through the GUNS for DRUGS trade all of the tools and ammunition that have been coming from Miami US of A they already invested in them so when we hear our Prime Minister as say these are not some poor people because these tools cost between 500000 to 800000 They have invested all of these criminals, different network, different set. So it is not just going to be one set of people. Yes, the main set of people them started the clansman, the one other. However, the other copycat have seen that there is success. I've heard about the 10 and the 23 million dollars and they want some too. So therefore, the people them are out there, them have the tools of the trade. It is just a matter of time before they bingo just like the others before them. So therefore, until the JCF, until the security team, until Beryllium take them out, until Beryllium secure the money and secure the guards, until they give them the proper tool that they need. Like me tell you, these are tekka, these are not thief. These tekka are used to robbing people overseas. Them come and them teach other people. And the people them are learning fast. When them take money overseas in a, any sorts of heist, them know say in a two toes before you can say who oh, that the poor poor are going to be there. Them get whole, them get deported, they are back in Jamaica. Them know, say, once them go up on a spot and them take the money, they can take the money, jump in their vehicle, go home, count the money, take a shower, go a passa passa, go away the way, and the poor poor don't reach there yet. However, yesterday, because of the geographic location in which the hit took place, one way in is either you head back to Portland or you head back to Arborview and one way out. It is said that them buck up in the Popo, there, were so, there was some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out and two vehicles, the AD wagon and also the Subaru was held. Me don't know if them hold anybody. However, when they search these vehicles, the vehicle have all sorts of car wall in them. The vehicle have B-L-O-O-D. So hopefully one of these thieves get taken out or all of them. Hopefully. However, don't feel as if this is the end of it. It is only the beginning. And based on what Stephanie Lindsay said in an interview that she did this morning, it is said that at least a few people have been in custody. Not suspect only for questioning. So people, we have asked the question. This might be some sort of inside job. Is there some sort of mole in a beryllium that is giving out information that, listen, we are going to be restocking these machines 
at X place at X time. She also said that there is a third vehicle involved, people, I guess. This is based on some sorts of CCTV video footage of that vehicle pulling up. Don't know if it is coincidental. However, she said that they are investigating. The investigation is preliminary, people, like me say. Do not think that anything is going to change unless... These people are stopped in their track. As long as there is money, as long as there are persons that don't want any sorts of 9 to 5 and have that teeth in jeans and chromosome and most importantly, have the tools of the trade, we are always going to be hearing about stuff like this. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.